Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and today I'm out here with the Petrel 75 ready to fly kit. Now about 10 months ago, I made this really cool video about the Petrel 75 Whoop and the C1 transmitter. This is the video up there. I'll put links to it below. In that video, I showed that the two items worked really well together. And you know what? HGLRC, these guys here said, you know what, Steve, we agree with you. And they made this, the ready to fly Petrel 75 Whoop kit, and it contains the C1 transmitter. So as you can imagine, this is a ready to fly kit for beginners. So everything you need to fly FPV is in this kit. And it is under $300 US. So that means it fits in this video nicely. So in the future, when I make another video about the best drones for under $300, best FPV ready to fly kits under $300, well then this will be part of it so i'm opening this up here and i'll show you what's inside really quick you get an awful lot as a matter of fact this is the only kit on the market that gives you the most for your dollar value you get more in this kit than you get in any other kit what do i mean by that besides the fpv drone the c1 transmitter and the fpv goggles you also get the thor 1s battery charger with the 65 watt power brick now that's unheard of the price of this is pretty you know it's up there and i'm surprised they threw it in a ready to fly kit because this charger is what I'm going to keep because you can put any type of 1S battery and plug it in and you can pick high voltage or normal voltage and having the 65 watt brick I can use this for so many things in the RC hobby it just pumps out the power so that's really good not only that they include the HGLRC dongle this is an ELRS dongle I've reviewed it uh, twice in the past it's really cool so this dongle is basically Bluetooth that goes between your little controller here your remote and your PC or whatever you plug this in so this is elrs and this is elrs what is everything today in the fpv hobby elrs so that means you can sit on your couch with this and by bluetooth to this elrs remote you can play all sorts of sims on your big screen tv you don't need a cable to go all the way across from your couch to your tv it's just from this to this really cool now since this is a tiny whoop it does fly on 1s batteries two 1s batteries are included but the cool thing is these are high voltage batteries so you get a lot of power extended at flight time but I can use any 1s batteries as long as it has a similar plug of plus and minus on it so I've got all sorts of batteries here by uh, different companies and they all work in this little quad and finally when it comes to the quad itself obviously it's going to be analog because you know honestly here I'll hold it up to this camera it's got to be analog for the price they're not going to put digital for that price because digital goggles start at $400 unless you get the Waxnail ones which start at $200 but it does have brushless motors and it's very quiet it doesn't make a lot of noise as a matter of fact I don't know if you can see behind me but there was a pile of people here I'm gonna fly this around and I'm not worried about the people because they won't even hear this thing it's so quiet so I'm gonna take it for a flight around this little park right now but I want to mention the following it does come with FPV goggles the only negative with these FPV goggles well there's two negatives for me one is there is no place to put a micro SD card in these goggles so I can't record the video oh that's terrible but the bonus is they have little circular things on the bottom that control the focus so if you have eyesight that's a little bit off you can easily focus for your eyesight and you'll see an image but let's get back to the second negative for me the second negative is I have old man eyesight you see what's on my head these are called glasses and these do not fit over glasses so if I put these on my eyes everything's blurry inside I can fly with these goggles on my eyes will adapt however if I want to go under or through things I don't see well enough to do that so for that reason I'll be using my trusty old fat sharks that I bought years ago these are really good and I can adjust each eye piece for my eyes the different eye sights and it works well and there is a DVR inside to record the video but as I have to say this every video because so many people are not aware of it fat shark goggles are made to record video so that you can find your drone if you crash in other words it's really bad video that it records low resolution it's only there just so you can play back the video and find where you crashed your drone it's not there to record cinematic video so in other words the video you're going to see when I fly is not going to be cinematic and it's going to look really bad but I want to tell you now the video I see in my eye eyes is twice to three times as good as the video I show you recorded so here we go okay we're all set to fly so I have a little arm button on here I'm going to click it it says armed and it says I'm in acro mode which is good I'm going to fly in acro mode so here we go <laughs> miss everything here it really boogies this little guy here I'll go around this tree and come back to me and buzz me the video quality in my goggles is exceptional it's really good there you go buzzing me going through the trees 
I'm a fan of this little quad. I've flown it in the past in my reviews and I really liked it and I still like it. It's really decent. But uh, the modem in now is called Air Mode, Air Acro, and that's for pros. It's not for beginners. As you can see, that's why I can do this and do things like this, fly around. And come around the park here there's people over there so i'll stay away from them it's a really really good quad all right so i'll show you the other flight modes it has let me just change really quick so the, uh, another one it has here there if you look at the bottom right i'm in horizon mode this one is for beginners so this is designed that the drone will stay level it's staying level by itself right now i'm not doing anything to keep it level it's just flying level but if i move the joystick all the way to the right or left watch what happens okay so i'm going to move the joystick all the way to the right whoa all the way to the left whoa you spin but it always comes back to level that's pretty decent okay i'll show you the last mode i'm in air mode now because that's my favorite but here i'll go into angle mode i think it's this one there we go that's for beginners you can't flip you can't roll if i can push it to the side see i can't flip it so i'm going back into air i can't fly in angle mode and i can't fly in horizon mode as soon as you learn to fly in uh air mode then uh, that's all you fly in now i've been flying for a while so let me just look down and see what my voltage is at so if you look at the bottom left it's 3.34 if that gets down closer to like 3.2 then you want to land so let's just go stay away from those people and also there you go see it's 3.1 you see the low battery happening i can make the low battery happen if i gun it there you go see i just gunned it there so let's bring her back and put another battery on this thing. I'll put her in angle mode and see if I can land an angle. I don't know if I can. That's kind of hard. No. Nope. I'm trying to do this in beginner mode. It's very difficult. Come on over to the table. And well, I'm on table. I did it. <laughs> That was pretty difficult. And the reason I say it's difficult, I have to mention this, the reason I say it's difficult for me to fly in angle mode or horizon mode is because when you fly in air acro mode, the drone is not doing anything for you. So I am controlling everything, the six axis in all directions. As soon as it's in horizon and I start moving these joysticks, the drone's not doing what I want it to do. And if I put it in an angle, I can move these joysticks all over the place and the drone's not doing it. So my brain gets really confused. So the batteries they give you are these little 550 milliamp hour lipo batteries. The flight time on it is about four minutes with these batteries. That's what you're going to get if you're conservative. So I do have, let me see, I do have one battery that's a 750 and this will get me five minutes of flight time. So I'll put this on now. Okay, 750 battery is on this. I don't know if this camera picks it up. 750 battery is on it. I'll put it down someplace where you can see this take off at the camera. I'll just put it over here. I don't see any kids around the play structure over there. So I'll go buzz around the play structure. Air mode and take off. I love this thing. So with the 750 battery, it's a little heavier, but you could still fly really well. So I'll go around, well, I'll start on this side. Now this structure is gonna block my video signal. So you see it already, it's metal. So it's blocking the signal a little bit. I'm going under it. Here we are. Whoa, I almost hit that bar. And then I'm gonna come back this way. Go under it here and go under it here. And we're back over this way. So. It's pretty cool. You're probably wondering what the range is on this little quad. Well, let me see. If I fly this way, I'll take it out. I can't really tell you what the range is, but you can see I'm heading to the farmer's field into the sun over there. Let's just keep watching and see when I start to get a bunch of interference. So I'm still going, still going, still going. Oh my God. This is not good because now if I run out of power, I lose it out here. I got to walk out in this farmer's field. Yeah, so the range is really good. It's 400 milliwatts, so you're going to go pretty far. I'm starting to get a little bit of snow. I'll bring it back to me in here. So I would say I was, you know, the range is probably close to a mile, I would think, with something like this, as long as you don't have any interference. All right, then diving down at me. Let's go through these trees at the same time. There you are. So I'll keep flying around me. You can hear how loud it is. So that's how loud it is when you're causing it to do like turns. That's the only time a, a quad makes more sound is if you're doing turns. But if you're doing something more like hovering, there we go, let's hover. I'm in air mode, air mode and trying to hover. Hear it? I'll come even closer. There we go. 
So not super loud. So if I look at my voltage now, I've been flying for a while. I'm at 3.3, 3.35. So I can still fly. There's no low battery coming on because I have the bigger battery on this thing now. So you can get uh, five minutes easily with this. If you look at the top of my screen, the top right, that's how long I've been flying for. See the big on? <laughs> so I've been powered on for four minutes and 19 seconds. There we go. So now I'm getting the low battery. If you want to fly for five minutes without getting low battery, when using a big battery, you can't do any sort of harsh movements or fast movements like I was when I was trying to do the range test. I was trying to go high speed out and then high speed back. Uh, so yeah, if I didn't do that, I would still be good for the battery. So that's okay. So you see my battery is now is at 3.2, 3.1. So it's time to come back to land, but I'll just get it up to five minutes here. All right, it's five minutes. Let's bring her down. And we'll plop it down on the table in acro mode. There we are. Now, every time I make a video of a tiny whoop, there's always some goofball out there who says, hey, can I put a GoPro on it? Well, obviously not. It's kind of small, but you can put a very tiny camera. So here I've placed an Insta360 Go camera on it and I'll show you the footage. So I'm gonna say it once again, I really like this quad. I really like this quad. And this controller is outstanding because this controller is ELRS. It comes with two batteries, 18650 batteries included. It has the ability to put a Crossfire module on the back so you can change this from ELRS to Crossfire or to anything else. It's really good that way. You can fly this little quad indoors and outdoors. It's really good for that. So I've already flown it indoors in other videos. I'm not gonna fly it again. So with this video pretty much done, I'm gonna show you next what comes in the box and tell you a little bit more about this baby. So check it out, uh, then come back to me. The entire ready to fly kit comes in this nice carry case and inside you'll find everything you need to get flying. The drone is super small in size, fits in the palm of your hands and the analog camera is actually pretty good. The video transmitter has three settings, 25, 100 or 400 milliwatts. 1610 two bladed gem fan props are already installed but four extra props are included. The four brushless motors are Spectre 21,000 kV motors. The flight controller is a Spectre F4 flight controller and the receiver is an ELRS receiver. This whoop has prop guards which allows it to fly indoors. You can use any 1S battery you desire as long as it has the proper connector. Thankfully the kit comes with two 1S batteries and they are 550 milliamp hours each. In the kit you'll find plenty of rubber bands. Those rubber bands are there so you can attach any size battery. The kit does include a battery charger that can charge up six or more batteries at once and it even includes a 65 watt power brick. A series of tools are included. The kit also includes a USB-A to USB-C extender. You can see what it looks like when it's attached to the quad right here. The total weight of the quad without a battery is only 27 grams. Adding a battery bounces it up to 40 grams. A really good quality ELRS remote is included and the remote even comes with two 18650 batteries already pre-installed. A USB-C cable is included so that you can charge up the remote and a lanyard is included so that you can wear the remote around your neck. Analog FPV goggles are included. Please note that you cannot wear your glasses under these goggles. 
A USB-C cable is provided so you can charge up the goggles. The goggles have all the buttons you would expect, except there is no spot to place a micro SD card, so you cannot record video in these goggles. However, these goggles do allow you to focus the image. Please note that no manual is included in the kit. You have to use the QR code to get the manual. But hey, stickers are included in the kit. And let's not forget the really cool ELRS dongle. Next thing I want to show you is using the dongle to play a flight sim first thing you have to do is bind the dongle to the remote it is not bound from the factory you have to bind it in order to bind the dongle you have to put it in bind mode and the way to put it in bind mode is to add power to this dongle three times now normally i would do it just plug it in and out of my laptop and do it but you can't really see it on screen here so let me grab a power supply okay i've got a little power bank that's going to provide this with power so i can put it in bind mode you do not need this just do exactly what I'm doing and pretend this is your PC or your laptop. You'll see, you're gonna do this three times and on the third time you leave it in to put it in bind mode, watch. So you go three times, so you go once, lights come on, pull it out. Twice, lights come on, pull it out. Three times, don't remove it, leave it in, lights come on. It should be in bind mode now. Now let's go to our little controller here and then we're gonna hold down the bind button on the back and I'm gonna hit the power button just like we did before to bind up our little drone. So hold it down and then I'm gonna release everything. Release, let it go solid white. It's solid white and there we have it. What you wanna see on the dongle is you don't wanna see the red lights flashing. They'll only be flashing in bind mode but they should be solid when everything is connected. So I highly recommend you set up your dongle with your remote and go fly a whole pile of FPV sims until you get really good and then try the real thing. All right, you're back to me and I'll show you one last feature on here that uh, a lot of people love. Um, I use it every now and then. It's called the flip over and crash feature. Also, if you are into DJI drones in their FPV drones, they call it turtle mode. So I'll see if I can reproduce it here. Let me just arm it. So it's armed, but what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna flip it over and crash it. Uh, there we go, it's upside down. So now I want it to flip back upright because maybe it's, I don't know, 100 feet away from me. So all you do is on your remote, you take this little button here and you take it and you push it into the center. Hit the arm button here and move the joysticks. There we go, and flip. There we go. So then it flips over, hopefully that camera saw it. And then when it's flipped over, it's sitting like that. Then you take that switch out of the center, push it to the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. And then you can arm it again and uh, go fly. And I can fly it. So I think I've shown you everything. I've shown you the dongle because I showed you some video from an old video with the dongle and flight sims, the flip over and crash, everything in the kit. So I think that's pretty much it. So the next thing to do is just to say, uh, check out the links below. If I have a discount code, like say it's sold on a store that gives me a discount code, I'll include that below as well. So go check everything out and see if this is the kit for you. I've lost the kit. Here, here's the kit for you. And uh, I would suggest since you only get two batteries with this, you might want to pick up some extra batteries and you can find these batteries any place Amazon or I even have some beta FPV batteries here and there's they're they're all over the place they, they all work in this as long as it has the same connector so with all of that said if you have questions on this product post your questions below and I'll get back to you but for now if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more cool reviews until then I say bye <laughs>